more grace. This is yours truly, Prophet Karin. And so glad you came to worship with us here. I don't know where you are, what part of the world you're in, but you are getting ready to watch something that's getting ready to literally change the trajectory of your life. And you'll never, ever, ever be the same again. Never in a million years that I think I would pastor. I just plan on traveling around the world. God called me a pastor. You know, it's that, I always call it the ring finger of the church. And I'm committed and I'm dedicated to building people. Because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. And so I do everything in my power to make sure I preach a fresh word every time you turn on the internet, TV, whatever you're watching. I want you to say, I heard a fresh word from God. And I want to let you know, we are new covenant people. We believe in what Jesus did at Calvary. And that that he did has changed our life forever. So I want to just tell you, sit down for a moment. And have a good time. But listen to this word. Let it change you. Let it revolutionize your life. And I promise you, if you stay tuned and listen to everything I say, You'll get up saying, my God, my life has been changed. I'm so excited about the word, what the word is going to be about today. I pray your life will never be the same. More grace. Everybody sing it, y'all.
your voices and do it. I said lift your voices and do it. Lift your voice and do it. Your, your voice and do it. Not this brain team, but your voice. Lift your voice and do it. Glory. Be praised. Yahweh. Be praised. Yahweh. Be praised. Yahweh. Be praised. Yahweh. Be praised. That's my desire. Yeah. With everything that's in me, that's all I want to do. Be. I just want him to be praised. I want him to feel the praise. I need him to understand how appreciative I really am. If you know you didn't have to be here, you need to lift your voice. If you know who you're singing to, be praised. The only one's God, a Savior, ruler and redeemer. He's our sustainer, our great provider, our great way maker. Lord of my life, Lord, be your voices your voices your voices come on your voices your voices I'm going to challenge you one more time to lift those hands right there and let's create this atmosphere that's conducive for miracles signs and wonders to take place in here come on those of you while your hands are lifted this is not the moment where we're asking for anything. We're worshiping the God that can do everything. I said, this is not the moment right now where we're asking God to do anything. We're worshiping the God that can do everything. Come on, raise your voice now. Come on. Yeah. So we're not asking right now, God, please heal me. We just know we're worshiping a healer. Come on, right now, let's do it. Come on. We're not asking God to deliver me now. But we do know we're worshiping a deliverer. Come on, do it now. We're not asking God to pay bills or anything right now. But we know we're worshiping a provider. Come on, do it now. Come on. of all things.
created the moment that you're in right now. Come on, those who are desperate just to be in his presence. Come on. I want you to push in this moment. It takes real worshipers that don't need somebody to lead them in this moment. Because you already have your personal relationship with him now. It don't take much for you to think about who he is to you. That's who I'm talking to tonight. Come on. No situation we're going through should stop you from opening up your mouth now. No circumstance you're dealing with should stop you from opening up your mouth now. to you because I just believe 
tonight we're not going to leave here until God gets in us what is intended for us tell him and I'm going to praise him for you and you can praise him for me tell him let's give him praise in advance I said, I'm going to praise him for you. And I hope you praise him for me. Because I don't need no haters around me. Because I just believe God is about to drop something in this house. That's just for me. I wish I had some believers that would praise him. That know God has something special for you tonight. And I'm going to praise him like it's already done. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. I said it's, hey. I said it's already done. I said it's already done. You wondering how I can shout when all hell is going in my life? Because it's already done. You wondering how I can dance and wave my hand with tears running down my face because it's already I wish I had some real praises in here who don't wait till the battle is over but you can shout right now I wish you would pass that down your road tell them it's already done it's I don't need the band to start praying. I don't need the singers to sing with me. I'm praising because it's already. I said it's already. I said it's already. <laughs> I said it's already. There's some folk that think you're crazy for coming to this church every week with all the stuff that's going on in your life but what they don't know is that God is doing something that they can't see and I'm praising him because whatever he's doing it's already done got to move in the service and we've got to move forward and we believe that this revival is going to transform us but there's some things you've got to do for yourself and you've got to put yourself in a position for God to move on your behalf you just can't nobody can force this on you you've got to put yourself in a praise atmosphere so that God can know that you're ready for what he wants to do for you. Now, I don't know about you, and I don't know about who you're standing next to, but I'm going to give you 30 seconds to show God how you're going to act when he gives you what you've been praising for. And at this moment, it doesn't matter who's around you, I need you to lift your praise to the next level. One, two, one, two, come on. I said, how you gonna act when he gives you what you've been praying for? How you gonna act when he blesses you with what you've been crying about? Oh! It ain't too early. We'll be doing this all night long. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It ain't too early in the service. We'll be doing this all service long. Come on. Hey. 
somebody. Come on. Woo. Excuse me if I get a little crazy, but it's already done. And I've got to let God know that I'm going to praise you just like this. If it ain't in your feet, put it in your hands. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on in here. church that's ready for God to move on your behalf. Come on. God, I'm ready. I'm ready for him to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all I could ever ask or think according to the power that's working in me. Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah! Hey! Can I hear the hands of everybody? Go and clap those hands in here. Our service long. I hope you came to praise tonight. I hope you came to lift your praise tonight. Glory! From the depths of my Come on, say it. So excuse That's it. Praise is the Keep your hands and give God praise in here. Come on, praise him. Ho! Oh, come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. Come on. Where you praise him? I said, come on, praise it. Come on, praise it. Praise is a prophetic trigger. You want God to talk to you, praise it. serve a good God. Amen. He is faithful. He's a man of his word. He do what he say and guess what he don't do? He don't tell no lies. If he makes you a promise he's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. Would you look down your row and tell him I see favor all over your life. Amen. You know one word from God can change your life. I say one word from God 
can change your life. It can move you from one place into another. And we're grateful to the Lord, thankful for his goodness toward us. He has never failed me yet. And I don't know about y'all, I'm, I'm sticking with Jesus. He, I said, come hell high waters, I'm sticking with Jesus. Amen, you are blessed. I said, come hell high waters, tell your neighbor, I'm sticking with Jesus. Amen, because he is, he is good. He, do, he I'm telling you, that man is a good God. I say that man is a good God. I say he's good. I say that man is good. Victory is mine. Come on. Victory is mine. Come on, church. Victory to me. I told Satan.
the lion. Why are you alive? Because there's got to be more. Oh, I feel deliverance in here. Oh, I feel deliverance in the room. I said, I feel deliverance in the room. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh bless you. Thank you. Hey, I feel deliverance in the room. Come on, praise him. I feel deliverance. Hey. I feel deliverance in the room. Come on, clap those hands. you die. He kept you alive for one reason. Because he ain't finished with you. Tell somebody there got to be more. There got to be more. He can't let it end like this. This cannot be the end of my story. Tell him I can shake it. Oh, come on, Jesus. Hey. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Go to Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22, very quickly. Proverbs 13, 22. The Bible declares, a good man leaves an inheritance to his what? Look down your road, say, my grandbaby is going to be good. That's right. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children. And the wealth of the what? Sinner is what? Lay hands on yourself. Say, I'm just. Look down your road. Say, that means somebody else got my money. Because right. according to that text right there, the sinners got it. Sinners got it. Don't they got it? But it, it, they ain't supposed to have it. Give me Psalm 112 3. Psalm 112 3. Sinners got it, but the Bible declares in Psalm 112, verse 3 wealth and riches shall be in his house. Somebody shout, My house. Now, I, I know you're shouting, but it ain't there yet. Come on here. I say, sinners got it, but it's supposed to be in my house. But the Bible says, I can say unto this mountain, be thou removed. That's Mark 11, 23. Be thou cast into the sea. 
but you can't have no doubt in your heart, but you got to believe what you say come to pass. And you ain't going to have what they say, you're going to have what you say. Come on here. Look down your road say, I'm talking to my money tonight. And say, wherever it is, it got to come to me right now. Call your address so it know where to come to. Call your name so they know who to make the check to. Call your bank so they know where to put the deposit. Now shout like you already got it. Now the way you access what's yours is by giving. Giving it shall be given unto your house. Come on. What else? And what? Who will give to your bosom? That's right. So the way you access the blessing of God in your life is through giving. And when you give, he promised to give it back to us. We're going to take up and receive our first offering. We're going to give unto the Lord whatever the Lord puts upon your heart as God, perp as you purpose in your heart. You're going to give unto the Lord. Amen? Amen? And God promised to give it back to you. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready for the payoff, God. Amen. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Ain't that what he said? He said, my God. He said, be not weary in well-doing. For in due season, you're going to reap, but you can't give up. Look down your row and say, due season is here. I don't know who that was for, but that was for somebody. Amen. I say, due season. Amen. They say the, the, the year ain't over until you had a due season. You got that right? Because it's four seasons in a year. But for the believer, it's five seasons. I said, for the world, it's four seasons. Winter, summer, spring, and fall. But for believers, it's five seasons. Winter, summer, spring, fall. But we got another season called. And the year ain't over until you get what's due you. And I come to tell about 30 people in here, if you shout right. Due season is my season. Shake three people say, I'm ready for due season. ready to give unto the Lord. If you need an offering envelope, raise your hand. Somebody's going to bring you one. Amen. All over the room. Let's get ready to give unto the Lord. There's several ways for you to give. They're on the screen, but let's trust God in our giving. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Praise the name of our God. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed Master. Oh, the man of God says something probably say this is a year of divine interruption. Y'all be shouting, don't be listening. I be here. I heard him. I heard him. He say, he say, Kaepernick kneeled in protest. He say, but the ones on the football field this time kneeled in request. Oh, I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I read a scripture say, let your requests be made known unto God. Y'all didn't read that? My God. He said, you ain't got to worry about it. He said, be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Come on, you can't ask for nothing and don't add some thanks on it. Tell somebody to thank them in advance. I don't know who that was for, but somebody's son is getting delivered. Somebody daughter getting set free. Y'all ain't talking back to me. Amen. When you ask for it, you got to thank, thank him in advance. All right? We'll thank them and let your request made known unto God. And they say, after you make your request known, he say, and the peace of God. That surpasses what? 
going to keep your heart. Would you prophesy to somebody on the left and the right and say you're going to sleep good tonight? Amen. Peace going to be your portion. Everybody going crazy, but the peace of God going to be yours. I will keep you in perfect peace. If you keep your mind, what? That's what he said. Amen. Let's get ready to give unto the Lord. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but I'm glad that he's a promise keeper. And he's a way maker. He's a light in the darkness. Tell somebody, I'll always have have what I need need. when I need it. it. Anybody believe that? Amen. Tell somebody, say, I'll always have what I need need. when I need it. Glory to God. One more time. Say, I'll always have what I need when I need it. Amen. Don't nothing feel good by being broke. Amen. I'm happy with Jesus alone. You lying. You need some money. Say amen. Amen. Don't nothing feel good by being broke. Praise God. When you can bless people, it puts you in a wonderful place. I was was looking at something. Pastor Jamal Bryant said that some woman walked inside of a restaurant and decided to be a blessing to the waiter. The waiter waited on them. The waiter waited on her so good that she asked the waiter, the waiter asked her, how much do you make a week? And she told the lady about $800, I think she told her, I make about $800 a week. And and, and the, uh, the lady said, okay, well, I, because you were so good to me, I'm going to just pay you for the week. Right? No, no, right? Right? And so, and so, he said, he said to himself, oh, Lord, I can't wait for somebody to do me like that. He said, the Holy Ghost arrested him and said, you looking at this wrong. God don't want to make you the one to have to receive it. God want to put you in a position where you're able to pay other folks' salary. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get somebody to believe, but I need about 10 of y'all in here that believe by the time this year is over, you're going to be able to cover somebody's wage for the whole month. Shake two people and say, he talking about me. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. But we trust God for that. You ready to give unto the Lord? Let's stand on our feet. Let's get ready to say our confession. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's get ready to. Say our confession. Blessed Jesus. Amen. You have what you what? You have what you what? Hold your seat up high there. Come on. Let's say our confession. What is it? Come on. Uh huh. I'm a giver. I'm glad about it. I wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world. Because I am a giver. I expect increase all the days of my life. Right now, Holy Ghost. Grant unto me rebate, refunds, money in the mail, unexpected check, increase in every area. Socks, dividends, bonds, exchanges, real estate, contracts, lawsuits, settlement, bonuses, promotions, assets, royalties, prosperity, and posterity all the days of my life. My name. God is talking to somebody about me and giving me uncommon favor with uncommon people. I am. I'll never be broke. I am. Yes, I am. Billionaire. Call it in. Money coming to me. Everyone standing on your feet, starting from the back, follow the direction of the ushers. Come, 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 come.
woke me up. He woke me up. Started me, started me on my way. Oh, 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 oh. Everyone standing on your feet. We're grateful to the Lord for the vessel of honor who ministered to us this morning. And tell somebody next to you, there's a reason I keep to myself. Wasn't that the message this morning? Amen. And thank God. I think if we didn't get nothing else, we need to know that this is the year that the Lord don't want you uh, wasting time with people who shouldn't be in your space. Amen. America has spent billions of dollars on space. Y'all went, went right over your head, didn't it? Yeah, America has spent billions of dollars on trying to figure out what's going on in space. And maybe because we don't study enough about space, we let everybody get in our space. But when you understand the power of space, you don't let everybody in your space. But we thank God that the man of God has decided to come in our space. We don't take that for granted. Can we thank God for the Tillmans being here with us today? Y'all, Bishop Hogan came to see about us, y'all. Amen. And all the other pastors and prophecy evangelists, pastors and teachers who've been protocol, who I forgot to call, who want to be called. We thank God for you today, and we're so grateful that you're here in the name of the Lord. We are ready to receive this vessel, and we know that whatever God tells him to do, he's going to do it. He got in some of our business this morning, and uh, look, 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 look down your row and, and say, God can say whatever he want to say to me. Now look at y'all lying. Look at y'all lying. Your line, you don't mean that, amen. Amen. But we're so glad to be here in the name of the Lord Jesus. You have his mic. We're so glad to be here in the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Uh, grateful to the Lord for it because y'all know it's praying time, don't you? Amen. So let's receive him. He's free to just let the Lord do whatever he wants to do. We're here tonight. And then we'll be here again on tomorrow night to uh, get the conclusion of the matter. But I'm so excited. I, I almost changed clothes. And I remember when I was a little boy and we used to have Sunday night service. I wore the same suit Sunday night that I wore Sunday night. I felt good. I felt like a little church boy. So amen. Amen. So we're so grateful to be here. Can we honor God? For the man of God, let's receive him again. Whatever he tells you to do, what you going to do? Amen. That's right. Make it easy. Just quickly respond, and I promise you, we'll receive something from God. KCC, can we give him a great big God bless you? Scream, clap, dance, whatever. Come on, and let's receive the man of God. As you remain standing, I want you to give your leader a thunderous applause. Founder. They used to call it years ago the chief overseer. Certainly thank God for pastor and prophet Brian Karn. Come on. Put your hands together. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I am certainly honored also to see Bishop Joseph Hogan. I'm certainly, certainly. He is the, he's the friend to the evangelists. And he has, we've been in his life and I'm a part of his family way back and certainly I'm glad to see him looking like new money. Was Bishop J.D. Husband that connected us, Bishop Chandler David Owens, and I'm glad to see him here on tonight. This is a man, you know, you don't forget men 
of God who, you know, when you're an evangelist, you're running from here and there preaching, and they help you with your rent, your mortgage. Come on, evangelists. And those pastors lock you in, and we thank God for him. And to all of the Lord's people, and yes, to the Tillmans, Pastor and Dr. Tillman. Yes, sir. Beautiful couple. All of my father's children, we greet you with the word peace. And peace be multiplied. And how many of you are seated on the praise roll? We have the superintendent from the New England New England jurisdiction. Frankie is here. Thank God for him. Church of God in Christ works with the National Church. All right. Thank God, thank God, thank God. I feel churchy. Oh, yeah. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I don't know how you feel about it, but I am blessed, and I'm on my way. I'm enjoying the trip. I'm saved and sanctified. Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized. I got Jesus on, on my side. You know, years ago when they got to that point, they go, Ooh, ha, ta. oh yeah. How many folk in here have the Holy Ghost? And now, how, the question is, does the Holy Ghost have you? <laughs> yes, sir. I wouldn't take nothing. I told you all this morning, I'm not worried about the have and have nots. No, no, I've got the guiding light. And this stuff is better than Hennessy. Don't sit up here and no, don't act, act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Stronger than wine. Sweeter. <laughs> And the honey, the honeycomb, and we are blessed. You have your Bibles turned to St. John. I believe there's a word, fourth chapter, and I want someone to read for me these two verses, 34 and 35. Uh, I feel something. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I don't know <clears throat> what key it's in, but I hear this old song. Uh, Jesus keep everybody me near the cross no temple no temple oh there I'm gonna sing it like the free will sings it the press just fine That what? Say it, 
somebody. Your soul shall find oh Lord, heart, a river. Put your hands together. Go ahead, somebody, and praise you. Yes, sir. Lord, we thank you for your word. Put your wings on it in Jesus' name. Let everyone say amen. Oh, yeah, it's in the room. Jesus said, if you go, I'll go with you. Open up your mouth, I'll speak. Well, Lord, if I go, tell me what to say.
Somebody say hallelujah. There's no harm in going back a little bit. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm. God has been certainly good. And that's an understatement. He's great. Uh, I tell you, my mind goes back. One song would break up the church. Come on, I'm going to the text in a minute, but one song. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I know he's preaching, but I got to say something. Read me him. said unto them my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work I want you to tell your neighbor say neighbor it won't be long now you may be seated tell your neighbor it won't be long now and, 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 and if you can't Everybody don't have that Zion moment. I'm getting happy here. You know how grandma used to do. Get to feeling good. You, you can't think and not turn around and think. Tell somebody, I don't need a reason to praise God. Just the fact that I'm breathing. your neighbor I'm breathing without any assistance Up. you can't get nothing from God looking cute some of you got a testimony that God brought you out of I see you you're back on your feet Tell three people they don't know my story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't know. 
know my story. I was on a dead level, but he raised me to be a living perpendicular. I ain't gonna mess with y'all in here. <laughs> Talking about Eastern stars, don't start nothing, shrine. Tell your neighbor, I got more than religion. This is good. Yes, sir. This is great. You don't have to think long. Just the other day, somebody hollered, it could have been me. But God blocked it. <laughs> You don't have to become 80 years old to transition. That's why every time you can get in here, you ought to act up. And you ought to act up before you get here. See, when I came along, the young people would hang together at this high school. We had everybody in high school. Church girls and church boys save. They knew who we were with our little white shirts on and some of us couldn't wear Bermuda shorts. That's too old for some of y'all. We couldn't come on somebody. They had restrictions. Bishop Hogan, you know we're going back now. Now, uh -huh. listen, we came from a long way. Uh -huh. And I'm glad we couldn't even play on Sunday, what when then we couldn't even play secular music because your mother would say, Cut it off. <laughs> I couldn't play it. And if the house was a sanctified house, you couldn't play Gladys. <laughs> Glad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You couldn't play. Uh, see, I'm not going to get sentimental in here. But some of us still have a, a little situation, situation. And the situation is you still have Marvin Gaye. And you and, and, and you wait until you're driving out west. Because you ain't listening to all gospel. And <laughs> you wait till them teenagers go to sleep in that car. Come on, channel 49, huh? Soul. Soul train. You think about your pigtails, your kulaks. You better tell me to be quiet. Grandma was a mess. I loved her, but she was something else. But oh, when the Lord came in and shook your dungeon. Come on, somebody. See, when I came along, we didn't have to have a high on, okay. We didn't have to have a high on marijuana. They just missed that one. When we went to party, we had a vibe because we wanted to dance. Watch it, Mosley. It's sacred on this mountain. Listen, we were just ready to get in the line to dance. Come on here. But oh, I went to a church and the music sounded better. Then the four tops. It's quiet. Somebody's crying right now because you're thinking about that old boy from 40 years ago. He done married somebody. Okay, I'm going to leave you all. Right. Come on. Yeah, burn the debt. And, and see, we had girlfriends named Lucy. Come on here. Nobody's naming no child Lucy, but I love the Lucys. Uh huh. Lucy could cook. And I, everybody, when we were up north, you know, I don't know where they come from, but we had a girl's name, Essie. And I don't know if any Essies are here. I got involved with Essie, and she almost broke my neck. Because Essie would fight me. She'd say, come here. Oh, they were some bad sisters now. And when they go to school, because if it's going to be a fight, they'd wear their jeans. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Uh-huh. The whole they start going like this. Hold up here. <laughs> now, what you going to do? Come on here. How many got delivered from the halter top? 
The brothers ain't saying nothing. Because you want them to come on somebody. Tell your neighbor the Lord brought me from a long way. We had people that uh, couldn't even, you couldn't sing on the choir because they wanted you saved. You couldn't even clean the pulpit. They said, get out off the pulpit. There's somebody that takes care of that. Come on here. They put you in the corner and say you lost your carriage. They stay in the corner. All that foolishness. We're not going to have that up in here. Come on here. We Listen, and we came back to church. Uh huh. We were on suspension, and we couldn't even shout. <laughs> you know, they would say, you know, and, uh, and so, but the Lord has brought us a long way. That's why I can go through now. You know, hey, I've been, we've been proven and tested. Mm hmm. Talking about don't pray that jazz in this church. Mm hmm. I, well, what am I going to play then? Because jazz got it. Okay, let me leave it alone. <laughs> Musicians, you ought to help me now. Music is something, it's a wonderful thing, and every generation has their own sound. You know, the, the other day I was out somewhere, and the young man, I was CVS, and he was in there going like this, going like this, something like this. So I'm, I'm an older man, I'm like a grandfather. And I saw up looked through him, and I said, you doing something that, that looks like from the church. He said, I don't know about no church, but I know this is a new dance. Now, some of y'all know the dance. You threw me under the bus just now. You know what I'm talking about. As your grandson. As your. See, and, and the church, you see, we ain't getting paid for that. See, and because we won't, if these hold their peace, the rocks will cry out. See, it, it, it only takes God seconds, minutes to do what he's going to do. Do you know God can interrupt the Mary J. Blood? Oh, yeah. You let a preacher like that go in there and pray. See, y'all are just not listening to where I'm going. See, this is the year that they're going to call on some of y'all to do stuff. And you're going to pray one prayer. And you're going to shut the whole thing down. You're not, your gift is going to be n not for you, but that gift that you have is for the world. For the unsaved, the objective is to get somebody's attention. So um, I want you right now to declare and decree this word, and that is soon. soon. I, I finished preaching right there. I want one person to get up and just walk and say soon. Tell your neighbor soon is in the atmosphere. This word is for the individual. It's for the individuals that are between manifestations. Between manifestations. It's not for everybody, but it's for somebody who realizes your life right now is between manifestations. Now, just the, the, the Lord says, you know, I'm going to move many of you to your next cluster of manifestations. And it will be out of a pending status. And I know this is a word because something that the bishop said, the, uh, the prophet said, that makes me know when he started talking about banking. When I say, when I say pending status, something is waiting to clear. Now, this is not a three point in a poem here. Remember now, when something is in an unseen realm, Help me, somebody. It, it hasn't made it come on to the seen realm. Look at somebody and say, yeah, it hasn't made it. 
It's pending. I wish I had one person and to, to take your hand and say, pending. Mm -hmm. Pending. Pending is when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pending when you see it, but you can't access it. Anybody got a phone? You know what I'm talking about. Uh huh. Let me ask some bankers in here that have accounts. Uh, yeah, and, and, and here's the question. Have you ever had a deposit come into the account and you see it? See and, and, and you see it and, and you say it's in there. Apparently they deposited it because I'm looking at it. But yet I can't. Something is pending in here. It's waiting to clear. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. I know you're sitting next to me, but something is waiting. I, listen, there is what they call in banking a clearinghouse. Come on, bankers. It's in clearinghouse. Come on, Chase. Talk to me, TD. Come on, Wells. Come on. I, I'm not going to bother y'all because y'all looking at me funny. But tell your neighbors and neighbor, it's in a pending status. How many of you have been on the phone with the call center? And you have to watch yourself that, that you don't go back to the old talk and use diverse tongues. And you're saying, really? Because they're getting on your nerves and ghetto is coming up. Can you get somebody else on the phone? Because I'm becoming annoyed. You're trying to be proper, you know. Well, sir or lady, I, I'm trying to do. I'm, can, can you? I need a supervisor. Because apparently you're not seeing what I'm seeing. I wish I had one person jump up and say soon. And, 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 Pastor, don't let it be deposited after a certain time on Friday. Then go to some of the banks that are open on Saturday. Walk in because you're already upset because you're trying to do something online. It won't let you do it. So I'm going. There you go. I'm going to the bank on Saturday. The challenge going to the bank on Saturday is work has ceased. And, the, and then so he says, I see what you see, but you have to understand that is still in a pending status until now it will be clear on to it. I know you ain't telling me that this doc, this got to, it's showing right there. You can see, I see it too. But what we can do, what we can't, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait I ain't going to get there yet. Because see, some people don't have good history. I, I'm not going to bother you now. And, and, and based on banking history, they feel like you're good for a provisional. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, some of y'all messing with me. Yeah, yeah, provisional credit. So, and then some of them have the nerves to suggest, Rev, that um, tell you what you do. We can transfer, excuse me, transfer what? We can transfer some of the savings. I, I didn't ask you to do that. I don't want what's in the savings. I want this money because I've got something I got to do. Can I get, can I talk to the manager here? Because apparently you ain't understanding what I'm, it's quiet up in here. And really they're doing their job. Okay, y'all don't get it. All of us have been there when stuff is pending. Now this is another challenge. The other challenge is if it's being reviewed. Oh, see, you know something. 
Amen. I know Bishop used to say, hallelujah to God. If it's being reviewed, why are they reviewing it? And then they have the gall to tell you, the system has decided to put a hole. And then some of y'all in here, because you're saved and sanctified now, but some of y'all say, can you give me my check back? So you don't want to do it. I need the check back. Or can they reverse something or whatever? Because I need my money. It's getting hot up in this place. Because somebody must know what I'm talking about. Pending. Uh, upon a review. And all of that has to do with what has cleared and what has not returned. I'm not going to mess with y'all. See? And, and so uh, some banks will add it to your available balance depending on relationship. And see, the other thing that they don't tell us, and that is a lot of stuff is just a click of the button, you know. They start going like this. Like they do, yeah, yeah. You, am, I, am I talking to somebody? Uh, just a moment, I'll, uh-huh. They, they could have done that earlier. But see, so, okay, it's, it's quiet. You know. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Uh, somebody shout soon. No. Mm -hmm. But in the most, in most cases, it become available once it moves out of pending status, and then only, and only then you can access those funds. Let me come to church now. Oh God. Hmm. Whatever you have, since this is the top of the year, whatever you have in pending status, something came through here today. Oh, yeah. I, I'm almost finished. I'm just, I'll put a little gravy on this. You know, I, I, you got the bread, I got the butter. So just give me a few minutes. You see, because I come to tell you that in this season of your life, Everything that has been impending status is about to manifest. And it will come out of pending status holla soon. And that's really the end of my story. I tell you, I feel like screaming. Let me throw this on you real quick too. Confirmation never becomes manifestation by coincidence. And you, you heard it, you hear it, you see it, confirmation. But confirmation doesn't become manifestation by coincidence. God is a God of promise. And he keeps his promise. You will never see God in Judge Joe Brown's court. You will never see God sitting up in Judge Judy's court. When he's about to release a thing, okay, God never makes a promise without a condition. With the promise, the promise, that, look at somebody tell me, the promise is right in your face. Stop talking about your problems. You got 8,886 promises. So you don't have as many problems as you think. And, and for those of you that believe it, that, see, God had the solution when you got the problem. But God wanted to, uh, you to understand how he works. Uh, these conditions must be satisfied in, in the in-between season of confirmation and manifestation. You see, uh, it won't be long now. I've been, I'm, just, I'm, I'm speaking to you prophetically. I know some of us went, <laughs> that, that, that style, I'm not there. I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do. Sometimes you have to be didactic. Yeah, God says, this is what I'm going to do. And this is what I need you to do. What is it then? So uh, uh, after confirmation and 
how many believe manifestation is looking you in the face and before manifestation? Look, the text said, Jesus, look at this text. After just ministering to the woman at the well, I call her Lucy. Jesus now rejects his disciples' recommendation to eat. This is what Jesus says. In, 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 in an unorthodox comparison, Jesus actually compares doing ministry as his source of nutrition. Ooh, listen to what he says. My God. Jesus says, my nourishment is doing the will of him. You want, I, that's what I get high off of. Uh, doing his will. Who sent me. Interesting is, uh, when you look at the text, Jesus further exposes uh, to us this tendency of um, assuming that manifestation has a time frame. And see, this is a challenge for most of us. Jesus had to correct this so that you can move in this house next month. I'm talking to somebody. Jesus says to these guys, don't say it again that you have to wait four months. He corrects them. Look at your text. Look at Jesus corrected them and said, don't say that you or anyone else has to wait for things to manifest. Uh, oh, no, as though there are assumed time periods. Oh, no. What the... What they disciples, what they were, they were assuming uh, and contradicting what Jesus is attending. Uh, there are scriptural time frames, but Amos 9 and 3, talk to me, it shall come to pass in that day. See, I, I'm, not, I, I'm finished because I'm trying to help somebody understand what you think is going to happen in August is going to happen next week. Because it is coming out of. I wish I had one person to just get up and skip and say soon. No, don't do it because you, cause you'll tear up the check. And I'm not talking about soon and very soon. That's another message. But somebody say soon. soon. Oh, my God. The water breaks. And, and when the water breaks, the baby's about to, you know, you're about to have. How many have been through the trimesters in your life? You've been through the test. And now you're about to get keys. Shut up, Brian. Because you don't know what you're talking about. So I'm finished preaching, matter of fact. I'm not at a baccalaureate. I'm trying to tell you that God works on a different time frame. Tell your neighbor soon. I want to put this in your spirit so that you by tomorrow be ready to go into this apartment. As a matter of fact, wait, wait a minute. I want the lady back here. Would you stand up? You just turn. Stand up. I want you to dance and holler Wells Fargo. Hey, hey. speaking to stop and say that to her. Like the boy in the country said to her. And I, I, listen, you know, 
whole lot of people have a way of saying stuff. But if you go way down in the country, you'll hear somebody say, the Lord fishing to do it. He fishing to do it. And then somebody say, fin. Am, am, I, am I saying something? You need. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Listen to this one Genesis 26 and 12. Would somebody get that for me? Because this is a shouter, this one. You know what? We got the bishop in the house. <laughs> Genesis 26 and 12 said what? Then Isaac sowed in that land uh -huh. and received in the same year. Wait, 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 right there, bishop. Same year. Same year. Same year. You ought to say it until you say it to somebody in Mississippi can hear Somebody, we, 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 when I was a young evangelist, I used to run behind the late Bishop Ithiel Clemens. And Bishop Clemens introduced me to Bishop Wells. And when it got like this, Bishop Wells would say, Look at your neighbor and say, Oh, oh, oh. Same year. You said it. Same year. Lady right here. Were you here this morning? Come here. This is for you. Same year, right? I, I, I don't know you, but on your dress and on your shoes and on your head, said, tell her that she needs to tell Wells Fargo. The account that I'm looking at, and I don't want to get the numbers, but I'm just going to show you. You ought to start dancing for Wells Fargo. Oh, what, 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 what? Come here, come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know anything, of, you know anything about Wells? Okay. That's real personal now. I know, I'm not going to bother you. Check it. I see an account. I said, I see an account. Look at somebody and say, if I couldn't say, oh, what? If I couldn't say, oh, what? Yeah! If I couldn't say, oh, It's gonna happen that day. I'm done. I'm done. You got you got you got 343 days left. What you gonna do with them? Mm -hmm. Some of you are getting your hours on your job just flipped. There won't be no going to work at night after this meeting's over. Because whatever's conflicting with your church and ministry and your job, the Lord said, I'm working that out soon. You better tell me to sit my black shelf down. Soon. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just, I'm just throwing yeah, yeah, on, so sugar on the cake or whatever you want to do it. Soon. You ought to say soon until your pocketbook says. Oh. My God, my God, my God. Now, you can't buy good.
good health. But somebody is getting ready to have good health. Oh, I thought y'all would have broke up the church there. Because you can have all the money in the world. But if you can't get out, if you got to wait on somebody, and while I'm over there, let me park the car and get out and tell you something. You better thank God that you can still dress yourself by your... It's, it's not a task to put on your clothes now. And the crowd that's going in for dialysis is not 80 years old. The numbers keep dropping. It's quiet in here. But the preacher said soon. God said, I'm moving toxin. I'm talking about church. He said, I'm going to move toxins out. And let the water flow. Soon. I just saw the prostate go down. It was swelling. Come on, brothers. How important is it? He said, I'm going to heal you. Until your wife wakes up and says, good morning. Soon. Second Kings 7 and 1. I'm done. Second Kings. Second Kings 7 and 1 says what? Then Elisha said. Then Elijah said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. He was a bad man. That, that, that boy had something. You know what? I wouldn't mess with an Elijah. They come around here every now and then. And, and that's why you don't know who's gifted. I'm not talking about the folk on stage. Because some folk are just fishing. Come on, somebody. But when you got the goods... You can sit long. You can go to somebody's house. You put him in somebody's house. He don't have to say nothing. And folks start acting right. People that you do work with and you get your clothes clean. But I know the lady was shouting all in the cleaners. She said, I put your shirt on. And I heard that you were I said, well, wait a minute. What's going on? She said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And my arthritis is gone. <laughs> God did it. Don't have no set time. Some of you walking now, you're getting ready to have your own automobile. Come here on the end there. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking, I'm doing this. This how sometimes it's hot. I don't know what the night's gonna be like. What it's gonna be. Start dancing. <laughs> just shifted. Say, thus saith the Lord. 
いぜんぶおおまいこと。And they pray better with their teeth out. And they want to kiss you. I had a grandmother. I said, Why she can't kiss me with her false teeth? There, she said, Come on over here, baby. It was running from both sides. I said, Come, and I said, Oh Jesus! <laughs> Didn't have no oil in the church years ago. Uh -huh. The preacher would take his sweat. That's right. And boy, come on, say y'all ain't ready for for the raw. Yeah. So you ain't ready to stay in church all night and pray. Yeah. We'll pray some, you know. And go by somebody and they and the, I used to tell them, I said, You sleeping? Oh, I ain't sleeping, Pastor. We prayed all night. Come on, somebody. We didn't have no chewing gum. They walk up to you and go like this to you. Give me that gum out your mouth. Now that's a fighting church. That's right. People wear their feelings. I want somebody to say something. And that's Why something? don't you stay home? I know that's right. Oh, that's right. It's quiet and somebody say soon. No. I'm finished. What did he say, Pastor? Go Thus ahead. saith the Lord, uh -huh. tomorrow. Oh, that's it. Did, did you hear what he said? Talking to God in the morning, telling the Lord, and see whatever God has for you, you're gonna come into it. Finish your courses. You you have an excellent spirit. Your 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 intentions are right, and you know God is dealing with you. you just God's got the time set. My 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 my. You're gonna be a businessman. I know that if you're a leader, just let God do what he wants to do. And when you were shaking, the Lord said, that was the ram over your head, the ram's horn. And he was pouring it out. My, 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 my. You, yeah, yeah, my sheep. Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 God. You're going to be a praying man. Thank you, Jesus. Young man with integrity. Yeah. All of your sc schooling is paid for. Now start dancing. You better watch yourself. Because he'll tear the church up. Young folk. I saw that new move. I'm gonna try to do it later on. It goes like that. I saw it. But I gotta rehearse that a little while. Let nobody make a fool like you. But tell your neighbor tomorrow. Tomorrow. The 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 um, the uh, case, and they're getting everything together. The numbers weren't right before, but they're getting the numbers together now. And 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 you just watch what happens. To somebody, you're gonna get the first payment. Pay your payments. Uh -huh. So don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hallelujah. Just watch soon. The man said soon. And 
than tomorrow. And what else do I have to say? What else can I say? See, it, it's, it's in, matter of fact, the truck has left the warehouse. It couldn't even get any faster than Amazon. You fussing, and God has already shrunk the tumor. And what they thought they were going to have to do, I'm prophesying, they, they're not going to have to do the extensive work. I'm going to shut up. Fibroids are in here. But I heard her because she'll be healed. But the Lord said that I've already started melting. I want the lady in the black right here. Come in. You. Yeah. You. Right. That's right. right. I want you to dance until they settle this case and this money. <laughs> And some, and some are just waiting on a signature. They're waiting on one more signature. Tell three people my status has already changed. You, you, ought, you, you ought to say that and go to dancing. Tell your neighbor my status. said a good space you're in a good place from here all the way huh. and, and you don't even realize how you can always tell when it's about to hit all hell breaks they, they, they want to adjourn court huh. but the Lord said don't worry I got this how many have asked the Lord to tell you that he's got this Oh, yeah. So your zip code will change. Would you be quiet? I can't be quiet. It's going to change. Counties are going to change. <sighs> I'm about to sit down in a minute. But you are blessed. There are some bad sneakers. Sharp sneakers. I, 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 I want you to get up and dance. I saw those sneakers walking in the spirit. As from as far as here to Jackson and Mississippi and all that whole state, go ahead and dance again. <laughs> doctor's care, stand up. Be on the, the doctor's care, yeah. And, uh, yeah. He did, I've got a shot. He said, I've already done the work. Yeah. I want, when you were receiving the offering, standing up here, come here. Hallelujah. I want you to dance until word gets to your thyroid. <laughs>
suffering with chronic pain, conditions. See, I done moved from teaching and preaching. You got to follow the wave. God Almighty. Chronic pain. And how you guess you did on that wave? I saw it was worse on one side. I can hear you. I know. Just watch me. From your waist down. Now start dancing. Now, put, uh, watch when you get out of the bed and get in bed. That's all going to be, not a task. Now, when I'm talking to him, I'm hearing something about the third and the fourth lumbar. I can't hear you. We've never talked. Check the, go back up in there and check that back right there now. Oh, go shut it. Do whatever you couldn't do. Go ahead. Look at that. Uh-huh. I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. sick relative and but I'm gonna tell you something God God is able to do just what he do what now, now say that one more time say what God will yeah right there just stop right there you believe that yeah we sing a lot of stuff that we don't really believe it becomes cavalier. You know, we just have, you know. What else does that say? <laughs> Wait a minute. Anybody got something that God promised? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else does it say? <laughs> the organ. Mm. God said I'm visiting somebody back home now dance. <laughs> look at somebody and say, neighbor, God is up in here. Oh. Oh, my God. Just wave your hands. It's already done. You're, oh, my God. Any day now. Now, uh, even to the classes, because one semester was, but now this one is going to be paid throughout this year. So I just want you to understand soon. And there'll be extra money to, you know, because you need, you know, not only, you know, but you need the money to get around and all of that. Yeah, that's how close you are. Huh, this is bigger than a CNA. Mm-hmm. God said, I'm doing something with your life. I saw a couple of pediatricians in here. And those that are going to be working close to babies. Huh? Just watch God. Yeah, I'm taking care of all of this. 
you had to come out to work, and now God says, I'm going to bless you soon. Some are even going to have the deed placed in their hand. You can put it in the safe deposit or something, but you're going to have your deed soon. I'm not talking about one bedroom or a studio. I'm talking about something you can walk around in. That's how close. Uh, but I'm doing it. Those of you that own property. Now, I'm going to get to the business people tomorrow night. But the Holy Spirit said, stop and people that own property, tell them to stand. Whether it's a house, apartment, land, whatever. He said, I'm doing something concerning your property. He said, I'm clearing something. They're clearing. You. Uh -huh. God Almighty. Hallelujah. Woo. Oh, God Almighty. Thank you, Lord. He's working it out. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something while you're standing. I said he doesn't you don't put him in a time frame let him do what he wants to do because he's already started dealing uh -huh, with what has and needs to be current and he's doing something concerning uh, the survey and all of that stuff I'm going to shut up I want you back there again in the booth to dance Dance because the survey just talked to the realtor. Everyone that's standing and owns property, say 200. 200. That's right. Listen, the young lady right here with the white blouse on, go in the aisle and start dancing and say, this is the right church. <laughs> church, but it's the right fit for me. I'm going to sit down. Everyone that owns property should be up on your feet. I need every... How many know that God is accurate? I need, right here, thank you. Everyone that owns property, I need you to, I need you to take an envelope and I want you to deposit $200 in that and I'm going to bless you tonight when you, once you got it done, you come to me. Two hundred. Oh. 
once you fill out your envelope, come up here so I can bless you. same after tonight. Yeah. I had, I had everything mm, is secured. Watch God. And the extra 35,000, watch God. Because something's going to be paid on the back end. Where is the uh, offering basket? Hallelujah. When you have yours finished and filled out, come to me. <sighs> Glory. If it's on your phone, if it's soft or hard money, you ought to come quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Every person in here, um, between now and when you get home, you need to dance in your living room. Yeah. You need to dance in your living room. You need to dance in your living room. Talk about somebody else's. And, and the lady in the back, and the lady in the back that said, I don't want that hood. This is hush. Talking about, I don't want that. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> academic excellence and watch the Lord said impartation and she'll be a reader and she'll be excellent throw your hands up and she's going to be the type of young lady that's going to want to help whose child is this she's going to want to help help the teacher help if you know that yeah 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 and just watch God say hallelujah that's right. You're going to be an advocate for people, Wanda. You start dancing for it.
you're going to find what you're supposed to be doing in ministry. I don't want to just be, I want to know what it is that I, I want to know what it is. But God said, I heard your prayer. I'll start your ministry. did something while you were standing in line. He started working on tissue that was scarred. I don't know. Make sure y'all mind. I don't know what it's all about, but you know something has stopped. So it 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 was worse, but it has stopped now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And even down to trembling. Take your time. Anything that you want to do right now, start doing it. Ah! <laughs> because they should have promoted you. They should have done something early on. Some kind of facility, some kind of... Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to bother. I'm, you won't be the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I, in this season, it's not about how hard I work, it's how smart I work. I'm not doing all these extra hours and all these things. People that have challenges with their mentality and all that thing. Yeah, okay. It's, I, I'm brand new. Put your hands on your hips and start walking. Yo, you better stop here. <laughs> Watch it. It's going to come back as fast as you've sewn it. It's coming back even faster. So you're not going to miss anything. Hallelujah. Go ahead and sew it. Come, come by here and sew it. And, and the lady that said, well, I want to tell me something, I don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Because sometimes no news is good news. 
Don't, 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 don't do that. Just, you know, but watch God. God is, God is, is doing something. Won't be the same. Anybody else that you want to make sure? in here, put your right hand up. I'm not talking about people that own property now. Everybody else, put your right hand up. Watch what God does. Because there is uh, something happening here. You will not miss a note. You won't miss it. What God's going to do. Because you're in a season of a transfer. Financially. So there's going to be testimony. That uh, it came back double. Just watch God. While you're sitting there, I, I want you to get the seed that's closest to $40 and just walk up here. Don't wait on nobody. Just walk up here. Stand. Put it right here. Put it right here. Stand. Come on. Don't wait on anybody. Hallelujah. something. God's doing something. God's doing it. Start dancing. on faithfulness. That's all I have to say to you. Now let's dance. Dance now. coming up about cosmetology and businesses in this place. I'm not, I'm not going to bother you. And I'm not talking about one a chair. I'm talking about the full scale. Okay. So I'm going to go up and uh, uh, put your hands up. Where, where is your pocketbook at? In, in right, where is it at? Hold it up. I want you to understand something just Hit the, let me hit it. It's going to be blessed. You're not going to have to worry about because you want to do ministry because you want to give your faithful and all right up here it said I'm blessing Lynn. Does she know Lynn? Oh, okay, okay. I just wanted to, just, I just wanted to listen. Watch God. See the devil tried to stop you. But I want you to dance. Start dancing. 
says lost, but the Lord said, I did it, and they're in my hands. Wow. Hallelujah. Yeah. Good, good. It's already done. Now, this, before the pastor comes, get somebody's hand right now. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Tomorrow night is miracle night. I want everybody to t find 20 or 30 people. You got to put them on a, put them on 18 wheeler. But you got to get them here because something just broke. But if you got somebody's hand next to you, I want you to holler soon until the bank opens up. <laughs> Thank you. 
always remember that whenever you receive a word, okay, okay, like, like I told you, if I, if I preach on healing, you don't have to come and ask for healing because what you needed is in the word that, that when the word come, the word go to work it. So lele bele di ala dala kukan satini me ambala de clays to lo musha. So the word tonight will soon. So I don't know what it is that you need worked out. All I know is sooner or later. It's gonna work in your favor. Hey, that's all I know. So, 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 doors are swinging open. So, walls are coming down. That's all I wanted to tell you. Tell somebody I don't know what your soon is. See, everybody soon is a little different. Cause some people soon may need something to stop. And somebody else soon may need something to start. But whatever your soon is. I can tell you this much about your soon. The prophet said, by this time tomorrow. See, y'all don't know when it can happen.
take it to the bank. I told you, Bishop. Hi, y'all. That's right. Bishop had 197 charges on it. And I told him God was going to drop them all. He came to church to let me know they dropped all 197. Higher! Higher! sanctuary. That's what you do in holiness, okay? I know we're a little new covenant grace, but let me give you a little holiness, all right? Uh, when you come to church, you hit your knees. Amen. We, we, that's just, that's something we used, uh, half the time I used to see people hitting their knees, I didn't even think they were saying nothing. They just walk and hit their knees, but whenever you come in church, you hit your knees and pray. We are so grateful to the Lord for the word of the Lord tonight. And we thank God that soon Things are getting ready to happen. I like that pending. It's pending. But the man of God said it ain't pending no more. Amen. 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 Tell somebody you can go withdraw that money. You can withdraw that healing. You can go on and withdraw that deliverance. Because it is yours. I'm not going to give the benediction because it's not over. Man of God to be here tomorrow night. Tell Lonnie, Donnie, everybody. Tell him to come and receive from the Lord. We are so grateful. Again, can we thank God for Bishop Hogan? Thank God for Pastor Scales coming to see us. Come on, give him a great big God bless you. And thank God for the Tillman, y'all, that came to check us out. Go ahead and ex uh, take, take on everybody out. Love you, man. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Bishop Hogan, follow them. I know, but go that way. Yes, sir, Bishop. Thank you, Lord. Well, you are blessed. Tell your neighbor, favor look good on you. <laughs> Sister Matthew. Sister Matthew. Felt that Sister Matthews give the feeling. Oh, she was looking at her husband. She said, "Baby, baby, look good on you." He tried to say it back to her. She was oh, she feeling that thing. I love it. I love the saints. Hey, Amen. Well, favor looks good on you. I'll see you tomorrow night. Hug three people on the way out the door and say, "Your soon is here. Your soon is here."
Now, was it as powerful as I told you it was going to be? I'm sure it was. That was a life-changing word. And you that stay connected, you'll always get that. I, I, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of just church as usual. I need a word of power, a word that can change me and shift my life. And let me know that God's not mad at me. God's not upset with me. But his thoughts toward me are good, not evil. And it's to give me an expected end. Well, maybe there's somebody watching who are not saved. You didn't give your life to Jesus. But I want to let you know that Romans 10 and 9 says, If you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be what? Saved. So let me pray with you right now. We call it the sinner's prayer, but it's just a prayer for you to admit you're wrong. Give your life to him. That's if you're watching and you're not saved. I don't want you to miss this. Everything I did today and preached is all about trying to get you to come over here on the Lord's side so your life will never be the same. Are you ready? Repeat after me. Father, I'm a sinner in need of a savior. Dirty and unclean without you. I ask you, come into my life. Save me. Change me. And deliver me from the powers of hell. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. And on the third day, you got up with all power in heaven and earth. I confess you as my Lord and as my Savior. Satan, I renounce you. You are not my God from this day forward. I am a child of the King. If you meant it, just like that, he just came into your life. But guess what? Now you need teaching. My people are destroyed, Hosea 4 and 6, because of a lack of knowledge. Get you a Bible. Read the Word of God. Find you a Bible-believing church that is teaching New Covenant teaching. What is that? Just, just, just find a church that teaches you saved by grace not of works Ephesians 2 and 8 lest any man should boast well I love you you can either look in Jacksonville look in Houston look in Charlotte all the information is on the website but until then I hope you join me next week same time this word will change your life and you will never be the same if nobody told you I want you to know today God is in love with you more grace